Have you ever wondered if you could survive a nuclear attack? Let's delve into this rather unsettling question and explore the realm of possibilities. When we talk about nuclear attacks, we aren't just discussing a simple matter of survival. We're delving into a world of devastation and destruction on an unimaginable scale. The power of a nuclear weapon is not just in its immediate blast, but also the lingering effects of radiation, the fallout that can spread over vast distances, turning once bustling cities into uninhabitable wastelands. But let's not forget, humans are a resilient species. We've survived wars, natural disasters, pandemics, and yes, even nuclear attacks. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the Second World War are stark reminders of our capacity to endure and rebuild. There are, however, several variables that can influence survival chances. The first is distance from the blast. The further away you are, the better your chances. It's a simple matter of physics. The intensity of a blast decreases with distance, so being far from the epicenter significantly increases your survival odds. Preparation is another key factor. Knowing what to do in the event of a nuclear attack can mean the difference between life and death. This includes understanding the warning signs, having a plan in place, and being equipped with the right tools and knowledge. It's also important to note that survival doesn't just mean living through the initial blast. It means enduring the aftermath, navigating a world transformed by nuclear fallout, and dealing with the long-term effects of radiation exposure. This is where knowledge and preparation truly come into play. While we certainly hope that the prospect of a nuclear attack remains purely hypothetical, it's essential to be informed. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it could be the key to survival. So, can you survive a nuclear attack? The answer is not straightforward. It depends on various factors, many of which are out of our control. But one thing is certain. With the right knowledge and preparation, survival is not just a possibility. It's a probability. While the thought is daunting, survival is possible with the right knowledge and preparation. Survival begins even before the blast happens. This statement might sound like something out of a suspense thriller, but when it comes to a potential nuclear attack, it's an undeniable fact. Staying informed about global events and potential threats is crucial. With the world's ever-changing geopolitical landscape, it's essential to have an understanding of the world around us regularly reading reputable news sources, subscribing to alerts from international security organizations, or even following trusted social media accounts can help keep you in the know. You don't have to be a global affairs expert, but a basic understanding of current events could make all the difference. A plan is not just necessary, it's vital. In the event of a nuclear attack, knowing what to do, where to go, and how to protect yourself and your loved ones can be the difference between life and death. This plan should be comprehensive, covering everything from evacuation routes to communication methods. It should be practiced regularly and updated as necessary. Creating a shelter is another important step. This shelter could be within your home, perhaps a basement or an interior room without windows. Alternatively, it could be at a separate location, like a designated community shelter. The goal is to have a place that can provide protection from nuclear fallout. Finally, let's talk about the survival kit. This isn't your average camping gear. We're talking about a kit stocked with necessary supplies such as food, water, and first aid items. You'll also want to include things like a battery-powered or hand-crank radio for news updates, sanitation and hygiene items, and perhaps even a dust mask to help filter contaminated air. Remember, these supplies should be enough to sustain you and your family for at least two weeks. And just like your plan, your survival kit should be checked and updated regularly. Preparation is key. By planning ahead, you can significantly increase your chances of survival. Because in the face of a nuclear attack, the more prepared you are, the better your chances of making it through. When the unthinkable happens, your actions in the immediate aftermath are critical. Imagine the unimaginable. A bright flash, a deafening roar, a shockwave that shakes the very ground beneath your feet. You're in the midst of a nuclear blast. What you do in the next few moments could mean the difference between life and death. First and foremost, you must seek shelter immediately. If you're outside, 
Find the near sturdy building and get inside as quickly as possible. If you're already indoors, move to the center of the building, away from windows and doors. The goal here is to put as many walls and as much distance between you and the blast as possible. But why is seeking shelter so crucial? The answer lies in the destructive power of nuclear weapons. The initial blast can cause severe burns and injuries, while the subsequent shockwave can demolish buildings and hurl debris with deadly force. The more barriers between you and the blast, the better your chances of survival. Now you might be tempted to look at the blast, drawn to the spectacle of the mushroom cloud billowing into the sky. Resist this urge. The intense light from a nuclear detonation can cause temporary or even permanent blindness. And then, there's the fallout. Fallout is the radioactive dust that falls to Earth after a nuclear explosion. It's invisible, but it's deadly. Exposure to fallout can cause radiation sickness, which can be fatal. This is why it's so important to stay inside the shelter until you're told it's safe to leave. Staying in the shelter isn't just about avoiding immediate danger. It's about protecting yourself from the invisible, long-lasting threat of radiation. So, while it might feel counterintuitive to stay put when every instinct is screaming at you to run, remember that your shelter is your lifeline. In the terrifying moments during a blast, remember to stay calm, seek shelter, and protect yourself from fallout. Your survival depends on it. Once the initial blast has passed, the struggle for survival continues. In the wake of a nuclear detonation, the world outside your shelter transforms into a landscape of hazards. The threat isn't over with the blast. It's merely shifted to a more insidious form, nuclear fallout. Nuclear fallout is a cocktail of radioactive particles hurled into the environment by the explosion. It's invisible, it's silent, but it's deadly. Exposure to fallout can cause severe radiation sickness, even death. That's why, after the blast, it's crucial to stay inside your shelter for at least 48 hours. This is the period when fallout is most lethal. But staying in the shelter is not just about avoiding fallout. It's also about rationing supplies and using them sparingly. Remember, you don't know how long you'll be staying here. The world outside could be inhospitable for days, weeks, or even months. Food, water, medicine, these are your lifelines. Use them wisely, and while you're in there, keeping yourself safe from the fallout and rationing your supplies, there's another crucial thing to do. Stay informed. A battery-powered radio can be your link to the outside world, your source of updates, your lifeline to survival. Tune in regularly to get the latest on the situation outside, to learn when it's safe to leave the shelter, to understand the extent of the damage. Surviving a nuclear blast is about endurance, about outlasting the invisible enemy that is nuclear fallout. It's about making your supplies last, about staying informed and making smart decisions. It's about hope about believing that you can weather this storm, that you can emerge from your shelter into a world that's ready to heal and rebuild. The aftermath of a nuclear blast is a test of endurance. Stay sheltered, stay informed, and stay hopeful. Surviving a nuclear attack is a daunting thought, but not impossible. The key, as we've discussed throughout this video, is preparation, quick action, and unyielding vigilance in the aftermath. Let's recap what we've covered. First, we spoke about the possibility of survival. It's important to dispel the myth that there are no survivors in a nuclear strike. Survival is possible, especially if you're outside the immediate blast radius and have taken the necessary precautions. Next, we delved into what one should do before a blast. Preparation is paramount. Understand the warning signs, have a plan in place, and ensure you have access to a shelter, stocked with enough supplies to last you for at least two weeks. We're talking food, water, first aid supplies, and radiation detection devices. Then we talked about what happens during the blast. The immediate action you take can be the difference between life and death. Shielding yourself from the blast, avoiding looking directly at the flash and getting to a shelter as soon as possible are crucial. We also discussed the aftermath of a nuclear blast. The world outside will be drastically different with radiation, fallout, and possible nuclear winter to contend with. It's here where continued caution is vital. Limiting exposure to radiation, monitoring radiation levels, and rationing supplies 
are all part of surviving in the post-blast world. As we wrap up, the message is clear. A nuclear attack is a terrifying prospect, but not an unsurvivable one. Staying informed about nuclear threats, understanding the signs, and being prepared can significantly increase your chances of survival. It's a grim topic, but in a world where the nuclear threat is a reality, it's a conversation worth having. Knowledge is your best defense in the face of a nuclear attack. Stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe.